I don't know the name of them though, does anyone? Fruit shortcake. Fruit I'm sorry, shortcake, what? Is it, yeah? Fruit shortcake, yeah. Fruit shortcake. Do you want to do that again? I'll pretend uh, I knew that. Yeah, sure, yeah. here we go. Let's do that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, what should we do next? The fruit shortcake. Oh, wonderful. Sure. Okay, so, so everybody, guess what? On the back of these biscuits, there's a question about our movie, Ferrari. So, let's, uh, let's find out what the biscuits want to know. Oh, this looks familiar. What's this? That's a Garibaldi. Garibaldi? Yeah. Well, that's quite exciting. Okay, explain the plot of Ferrari without using the word Ferrari. It's about a man in crisis. Uh, it's about a man who's trying to keep his business afloat with a lot of uh, personal turmoil along the way. And no spoilers, please. Okay. You should definitely see it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of cars in it. I won't mention the name of the cars. Okay. Need my glasses? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. What was the best thing about working together? Well, the cars. To me, we had a great time in the testing. So we had about a week and a half, two weeks prior to the movie starting. Yeah, it was good fun. It was good fun. And in a beautiful setting of Modena, you just can't go wrong for food, wine, people, yes, architecture. Great, people. great cycling. A lot of fun. Is this a scone or a biscuit or a cookie, Patrick? That looks like a biscuit to me. No, it's a, it's a scone, man. But it looks like a biscuit. Yeah. See, in America, they look like that. It's a scone. Okay. They're, they're f***ing lovely, though. Um, let's talk about your hair. Mine's a wig, by the way. No one knows this. I just want to let people know that this isn't even my hair. I had to, I had to go through very extensive... Oh, the um, other hair, the blonde hair. We had to dye our hair, that's right. A lot. I went through, like, three mm -hmm. dyeing sessions and um, was presented to Michael and it, 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 it wasn't blonde enough for him. Right. I had to go back two more dyeing sessions, still wasn't blonde enough. Mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time with uh, peroxide in, on my head. I had to do it five times. The first time it turned out orange, my scalp kept getting fried because of the peroxide. And then towards the end of the shoot, because we had these helmets on, what happened was it was called a, a chemical cut, which means it just fried my hand, broke off. So I had like this circle on the top of my head. It looked no. like a fryer. It was bald and the, all the hair just had fallen off and cracked off. Yeah. It's a sacrifice we had to make for this film. <laughs> Which co-star surprised you the most during filming and why? I'll tell you, Adam is funnier than you think he is. You know, he's a very intense personality, but he's wickedly funny and a great bowler, which I didn't expect. Yeah, that's what surprised me the most. Adam Driver's a dab hand at bowling. And Shailene is really tall. I didn't realize how tall she is. She's almost as tall as Adam. Yeah. In flats. What was it like being directed by Michael Mann? Oh, superb. Yeah, what a fantastic experience. Uh, just just to sit and watch. What a phenomenal artist. He, he was amazingly calm in the center of all this chaos with the, the clock ticking. He's like, no, I need to focus on this. And he would just sit there and focus. He'd wait. He goes, okay, I have the answer. And then you would go. Yeah, just tireless. Yes. For an 80-year-old man, he had a lot of energy. Respect More than any of us. Man. Yeah, yeah. And he's fun. He's a lot of fun. And he's in great shape. Oh, he's in some shape, that man, yeah. What drew you to your role in Ferrari? For me, it was this story. I love this era in motorsport. I read the script many years ago and had been stalking Michael for years. And then finally I called as soon as I heard it was going. I'm like, please, can I be a part of the movie in any capacity? And I'm glad I did. It's been the greatest experience I've ever had making a movie. Custard cream. Are you familiar with the custard cream? I am not. You are now. Thank the, you. These are I'm learning a great deal today. A staple. Any grandma in the country would have a cupboard fully stocked. Do you want to hold it? I'd like to, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, I can so feel it. So it's a nice weight, you know. Custard cream. Describe a typical day on the set of Ferrari. We sat around a lot and waited. I think that was the thing, because Michael would change his mind. We'd have the schedule, and then reality would happen, and then we would go to set, and then we would work nonstop. That in itself was actually quite enjoyable. Yeah. Got yeah. a lot of reading done. A lot of reading done. I, I took my guitar. I can play that now. Um, <laughs> and it, listen, you know, there are worse places to be waiting around, though, aren't they? Do you know? Yeah. How did you prepare for the racing scenes? Before you answer that, Lord, check out the middle. Oh my gosh, gooey look at orange. That. You weren't expecting that, were you? Yeah, I was not. Look at that. I've forgotten the question. Oh, I can't see. Shit. 
Oh yeah, how'd you prepare for the driving scenes? We, we got there early, didn't yes. we? And, and just hit up the, the track. We had two weeks of uh, testing uh, in and around Modena. Uh, we, uh, with a Caterham car, which is a nice little open wheel car. Um, and we just were pounding around the track. It, to me, it was oh, you fantastic. You were smashing it, Patrick. Oh, I uh, loved it. Once I got in, I couldn't get out of it. Yeah. I was just like, give me some more fuel, new tires, and I would just go and do long runs. Laps. Well, that's it. The uh, biscuits have spoken. Catch Ferrari in cinemas on Boxing Day.